It's really as if the Mets were hosting the KKK. Harsh accusations from the head of Jewish Voice for Peace as she and other pro-Palestinian supporters prepare to take their fight to the streets. They're trying to get the Mets to cancel the Hebron Fund's upcoming charity event at City Field. About 600 people paying up to $300 a plate are expected to attend. The proceeds would benefit the Brooklyn-based organization and its settlers in the West Bank. The Hebron Fund and Hebron in general is, a, is an extremely extremist organization. About two dozen people are appealing to Major League Baseball officials after striking out with their letter-writing campaign to the Mets. You have 700 uh, Israeli settlers living among 150,000 Palestinians. And if you were to go there, you would see that the Palestinians are under constant threat of violent and racist attacks by these settlers. And this is what the Hebron Fund is supporting. But the fund's executive director says the only thing they're supporting is their people. The fundraiser we're having is for uh, uh, humanitarian and religious and educational purposes in the city of Hebron to help the Jewish community there. The protesters call the settlements illegal and the people who live there radicals who want to expand at all costs. All charges the fund denies. I feel very sorry for them. Uh, I don't like to be accused of racism. Uh, and I would, I would say to those who call settlements in Israel illegal, if they could point out to me another place in the world where the, the, that's called a, a illegal settlement. No one uses that term. And while both sides continue to bicker, the Mets are trying to stay out of the fight, saying, quote, City Field hosts a wide range of events that reflect the diversity of our hometown and the differing views and opinions of New Yorkers. The beliefs of organizations holding events at City Field do not necessarily reflect those of the New York Mets. The protesters see it differently. Rochelle Boone, New York One.